Greetings, everyone. Loth be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone. This is a, a new episode of Really Dicey. Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite books that I've loved growing up, The Draw of the Underdark, from 2nd Edition, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this was the first book to come out to help you make a drow as a player character. Now, back in the old days of Dungeons and Dragons, you couldn't just pick any race or... Actually, the, the choice of races would very limited back then. Uh, it was well, elf, dwarf, halfling, the, the, pretty much the basic the, the basic set. And this came out to kind of give players a chance to play Drow. By this, by this time, R.I. Salvatore's books were a big hit. Uh, everyone loved Drizzt Doradin, and everyone kept bugging their GMs, can I make this into a player character? <laughs> and it gave... And it's a problem for Dungeon Masters back then because uh, Drow's were very overpowered. Oh yes, as a player character, they have come with so many innate abilities. Oh, they, they were, and and they were also restricted to the Underdark. So, yeah. so yeah, <laughs> no, you I, can't play a drow. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, this book came out to kind of help players with it. Um, now, by now, there's been tons of materials now for uh, about the drow as a, to make as a player character. I mean, even the fifth edition core book, uh, oh, player's sure. handbook, yep. um, uh, comes with stats to be a dark elf uh so is this book really necessary nowadays i would say yes and no like i i mean this is not i wouldn't get this right now if i need to play a drow for fifth edition at least but what's great about this book is that i can look back and they have certain things like they have unique spells uh which you could probably work to convert over to fifth edition sure. uh they have a great list of deities Deities? Deities. Deities. <laughs> <laughs> a, great, a great list of uh, deities that you can, outside of law, that you want to use for, for your campaigns. Um, and it has some really decent descriptions about like how draw, draws were perceived back then. And of course, some fantastic art. Um, the only thing that really bugged me about this book, honestly, is the introduction, where it has nothing that makes no sense to me. So it begins with, all right, this is done by Ed Greenwood. <laughs> and Ed, if you know Ed Greenwood, you know he loves a certain character named Elminster, the magician. Yes. And, <laughs> and it begins with, okay, this will make sense. So the, the, the writer of this book this, is looking to understand Drow and goes to the great Elminster for advice. And he's there at a cave drinking, sitting on the cave floor, drinking with a, a, drow, a drow woman. I think she's half naked or so in the pool, drinking with him. It doesn't make any sense <laughs> whatsoever. It's like it's almost like a like a bad fan fiction, in my opinion. Yeah, um, that that that's Ed Greenwood. <laughs> yeah, so all parties to you, sir, if you're seeing this, and you know, that's it. but that, that's pretty strange introduction. But since my understanding of drow, that they're not that keen on having drinks in the pool with um, Elementor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, you know, so um, yeah, that's my quick take about it. Uh, it's a beautiful looking book. Uh, I, I'm appreci I, I'm happy that this is part of my collection. Again, if I really want to do a drow, serious drow campaign, I will go back in this and kind of look at the spells um, and maybe some other little details that I may need to help flesh out the world. Um, and uh, yeah, good luck for trying to find this. <laughs> <laughs> I love this book. I, I, I was thrilled when you brought this out. AD&D 2nd Edition, that's my game. Yeah. I grew up with this, with playing this game. And I had this book. I had a drow character. This is, this is so nostalgic. I can't even tell you, you know, objectively how good this book is, if it's yeah. any good, because all I can see is the glories of my youth. So yeah. <laughs> I can't. Even, yeah. This color is. This is a rose-colored book, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. All this stuff. And the design is still very good. You got a, a great photo below. You got this like gold writing and a black. You know, yeah, so it gives no, it this. This is a beautiful copy that you found. There's so much great information in there about Drow society. Yeah, I found Fantastic. this in such great condition at Total Con uh, at uh, in Marlboro, Massachusetts, and uh, yeah, I saw it. And I was like, I gotta get it because <laughs> there are very few copies are left that are in such good condition. Yeah, fantastic. So uh, yeah, again, good luck. Try find this. You may try find it at your used bookstore or local gaming store that has a, a used. RPG section. Sure, sure. But uh, yeah, if you love Drow, pick this up. Hopefully they may have it at, at a PDF somewhere. So yes, right. let us know what you think of this. Did you play this? Did you love this book? I want to hear all about it in the comments below. Don't be shy about it. Tell me how much you love Loth. 
in the comments below. Have a good day. <laughs> All right. This is a perfect 18, in my opinion. This, but, but that's objectively. I, I, I <laughs> honestly. Second edition is perfect in every way. And I'll fight you to the death if you say otherwise. Roll initiative. <laughs>